What's up guys, Shad Juice here. Time for another garage sale hunting adventure. It's uh, July 5th. Hope you guys had a good uh, 4th of July. Didn't blow no uh, ligaments off. Had a good time, everybody was safe. Um, we usually just get uh, some cheap fireworks, like some fountains and stuff, just for the boy to watch and stuff. We don't usually go like too big. We spend like 20, 30 bucks just on some small stuff. Then we watch all the neighbors blow all their money away. <laughs> so uh, let me know how you guys' fourth was. Do you guys spend a lot of money on fireworks? I think it's kind of silly, but I mean, it is fun. Maybe in a few more years when he's older, maybe we'll buy some bigger stuff. But um, There's not a whole lot of sales listed today, but um, one to one that starts at eight o'clock here, it's 7.30 now. Then there's one set of those little neighborhood sale I found on Facebook, so I don't know how many people seen that one. It wasn't on the yard sale treasure map, so let's see what we can do. I ain't got no gas. I really don't have a lot of change. I ain't prepared today at all, so let's see how it'll turn out. Are you gonna have any uh, video game stuff at all? No. no? Yeah. Well, and I think a lot of people said Saturday for sure. So, uh, that's the other thing, you know. How much are you asking on the Bengals sign? Uh, two bucks. Two? Yeah. You don't have any video game stuff, do you? You know, yes. Anything old or new? Let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you come in downstairs. That's some of the stuff we haven't got left yet and my husband will. Pretty good, how about yourself? Yeah. You know, AB and Fireworks used to be strictly sponsored by Now 
Yeah, now that's all you hear and it, it, it never say it wasn't sounding right to me and he said something and I was like, Yeah, you're right, I just kind of forget all about that, I guess from year to year. And then you've actually got one hand in here where it's actually still showing. Oh. But it also I guess Guys, uh, just checking in. Um, it's now 9:11, which is a weird time, but uh, doing pretty good. I got some game stuff, some uh, speakers, which I think would be really good. They're hard to find comps on, but they're brand new in a box from like 20 years ago. So doing pretty good. Haven't spent a ton of money, but I got some quality stuff. Got a nice baseball bat and. Uh, I don't know how much other places I'm going to go today. There's not a whole lot going on since it's, you know, pretty much a holiday weekend. So I'm going to try to hit up a few more places and see what happens. Let's go. Take that five. I'm Thank taking you. my bunny and going. I don't like that dog jumping on me. <laughs> <laughs> Will you hold him, Aaron? He won't do it and he doesn't. Yeah, right. No, yeah, if you ignore him, he's like... Yeah, he said he doesn't jump in the Ah, sorry. No. No, no. You jumped when you said you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm little and they do jump. I know, sorry. Nope, 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 nope. He just gets excited for people who doesn't know. So here's some. I don't know. These are some old on ones. Okay. Oh. So you had Nintendo stuff? Or? I think it's hilarious. Uh, that. He told me not to sell. Yeah, it's mine actually. Yeah, awesome. it's an Xbox 360 Connect, and I've got these five games with it, all and right, one cool. controller, and it all works. I just don't play it anymore. Gotcha. Yeah, I collect video game stuff oh, okay. actually. Do you have Are any you other interested? stuff, or no, just that's that? all I got? Um, I'll make you a deal on it. What's the deal? I'll give it to you for twenty. Got a controller. Yep. There. Yeah, I could all probably right. do that. All right. Still look around though. Okay. Let me get it out of the sun for you and pull it up okay. here then. Thank you. Oh. Never know who you run you into a yard sale. discount. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we get an employee right. discount. Right, there you go. I'll sit right there out of the sun. As hard as you guys work, we should get discounts off that. Yeah. 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 Which I found that we get 22% off Verizon for children's. That's, that's pretty good. Hey guys, Shad Juice here. Just getting back from a uh, garage sale on uh, Friday, July 5th, day after 4th of July. Did pretty good today. I probably went to about 
10 to 15 sales and uh got some pretty cool stuff so let's check out what we got all right guys i got a couple things i kind of went out of my comfort zone a little bit i don't really get into like stuff like this like antique stuff or anything but for the prices i couldn't pass up we got this for a buck it's a thing that measures some sort of pressure i don't know if it hooks up to like oxygen tanks or water pressure i'm not sure man if anybody knows anything about this let me know differential pressure bronze tube we got brass sockets as i said i'm not sure about this at all but it was only a dollar it's pretty heavy sturdy but uh this this one's really cool right here this is like an old coal mining lantern that's really neat let's have a like a metal piece that's like clanking around in there I'm sure i could get in there somehow but this is this awesome like decoration piece paid three bucks for it actually on here i didn't even see where it says it says a railroad lamp actually but i did look this up i've seen one sell for 60 bucks let's see it says model a union carbide lamp this is really cool i never didn't even notice it said uh railroad lamp it was made in uh new york i don't see a date on it pretty cool i couldn't pass that up for three bucks just somebody using that for a decoration would be great all right another sale they had this game sitting out it's a uh, steep on the ps4 i got it for a buck it's a rental rental place game family video not bad for a dollar now another sale i asked that video games and uh the lady had i guess her husband was already in the basement with somebody else this guy had all kinds of stuff he had like a huge dvd collection he had a bunch of autograph stuff and a boxes of baseball cards he was kind of like not wanting to sell too much of the cards or autograph stuff because he didn't know pricing on anything but the other guy in there was like he stacked all this stuff up he wanted and he didn't even have any money on him and it was just weird and like I don't like to get in the middle of people's deals, but apparently he was going to go to the ATM or something, get some more money out. He had tons of like horror DVDs and stuff. I didn't even feel like messing with it. I just said, screw it. So, uh, I did pick up some PS2 and PS1 games here. We got Justice League Heroes, Hot Shot Scoff 4, Final Fantasy X. This thing said a lot of these are missing manuals. The better ones. Fantastic Four. Transformers. Star Wars Battlefront. These are Suit Larry. Sports Championship Poker. Medal of Honor. A lot of them are in Blockbuster cases too. Which is kind of cool. Some people do like that. Resident Evil Outbreak. That's a good one. But it is missing the manual. Namcare Museum 3. Atari Anniversary Collection, Ultimate Alliance Marvel, Blood Rain 2, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, I'm pretty sure that's a good one. Midway Arcade Treasures, it's got a bunch of cool games on there, it's got Smash TV, Rampage, Paperboy, Super Sprint, Marble Madness, Spy Hunter, really good games on that. If I don't have that, I'm keeping that one. Activision uh, Collection. I didn't even know this was in the mix. Day of the Mummy movie. Resident Evil Code Veronica. And it does have the demo disc for Devil May Cry in there. And Destroy All Humans. So I paid 20 bucks for all them games, which is a pretty good deal. Alright guys, another sale I went to. Uh, the lady said they had like old video game stuff and Nintendo and stuff and... I got her to go in the house and get out some things. I guess her husband just picked these out. He wouldn't let go of the Nintendo stuff. So pretty much this game, it was all sports stuff, really. Got NCAA 2K2, College Football, and Dreamcast. NBA 2K, NBA 2K1. Crash Bandicoot 2 with the lenticular cover. It's missing, like, the guts inside. So the disc is just sitting there. I could fix that one up. They also had this sitting in the garage. Got this Easton uh, Big Barrel. Um, 
SC900 Stealth Bat. Uh, I did a quick uh, look, and I seen one sold for 125. I'm not sure of the length or anything. This is a 29 inch, so it's not too long and it's kind of light. So I'm not sure how much this will go for, but I paid ten dollars for the bat and the game, so it's a pretty good deal. I'm thinking I can this is at least a fifty dollar bat at least, so I'll look it up and see how it goes. I forgot that set where I got the uh that lantern and stuff. I got these two bobbleheads there. Devin Mezzarocco for the Reds. I doubt he's worth much, but they were fifty cents a piece, so can't complain for a buck. All right, at this other cell, uh, it's pretty cool. Is a lady that uh, works on my work, and they hooked it up on some stuff. So we got a pair of Merrill shoes, and he cleaned up a little bit. We also got a pair of what are these nap shoes. I ain't really look them up too much. I'm sure, I can make a little bit of money. These are gonna go in the washer or something. Get cleaned up. This is pretty cool. I remember having one of these as the old uh, Vintage Turtles uh, Frisbee. We got uh, Leonardo. This is from 1989. So I'm going to keep that. Something cool. Also picked up their uh, Hammer Barely dual bobblehead uh, no hitters. This don't have the uh, Star Hammer or nothing in there. It's just loose. We got a Schoolhouse Rock Disney special 30th anniversary DVD, new, brand new. Sims 3 Ambitions expansion pack, new. We got a little Sony uh, Cybershot camera here. Get it out the package here. It's a 16.2 megapixel. I didn't look her up or nothing, but uh, I got a package deal on all this stuff. Then we got an Xbox 360. I'll show you this. This is like a commemorative uh, 1976 Reds uh, replica ring. I think they gave that out at a game or something. They just threw that in. I thought that was pretty cool. So we did get an Xbox 360 here. Show you the games. Grand Theft Auto 4, Dance Central, Connect Adventures, Biggest Loser, Star Wars Complete Saga. Does have Batman in there too, so that's cool. And we got a connect. We got the system. Not sure how big a hard drive is in it. Got the power cords. Let's just tell you. Nope. And one controller. So for all that stuff there, the shoes and all that, and the 360, we paid 30 bucks, so. Pretty good deal, and uh, I don't know if that was their son or not, but if you watch my video, how you doing, man? Thanks for uh, the deals. All right, another sale. We picked up this uh, Bengals Country metal sign. It's really uh, nice and heavy. Paid two bucks for that. I don't think it's NFL branded. It's probably something they sell at the flea market or something. I'm not sure, but for two bucks, it's really nice. I'm going to hang that up in the man cave. Alright guys, I'm thinking this is probably going to be my biggest score of the day. It was hard to find comps on these. Uh, the boxers are a little, a little rough, but these are brand new. They've never been installed. They're uh, MTX Model 520 N-Wall Loudspeakers Blueprint Series. They're still in the Styrofoam. These are from 1998, so new, new open box wall speakers from 1998. MTX is a good brand. I'm going to pull them out. So All right, so if you can see here, they've never been taken out. Really cool. Yeah, I don't think this is something like I'd personally have in my house. I mean, it'd be cool, but it'd be a lot of work to hook these up. I'm sure, you have to dig a hole in your wall and stuff. I ain't going to do all that. I can got Bluetooth speakers you can just walk around the house with nowadays, but somebody might be interested in these i put them on ebay i have no clue what i'm gonna ask for them i think i've seen like ones open maybe just one of these for like 100 bucks listed other than that i didn't see none listed or sold so 
We got two of them. We're going to see what we can do. Also at that sale, I got this old blanket. It's a old Miller Lite Bengals blanket. Football. Not sure when, what year this is from. Let's see here. Stanford 3 Strike. Custom design. Yeah, I'm not sure when this is from, but I'd say 80s or 90s maybe. It's really cool. Nice bright bangles in the uh, end zone there. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. I ain't selling it. Cause now I'm a Bengals fan, of course. She had ten on that originally. Um, I didn't even see the price on it, but I got both speakers and that blanket for twenty bucks. I think that was a great deal. These have to be at least worth a couple hundred dollars. We'll see what happens in the future. Definitely keep you guys updated. Appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching. It is hot, really hot in Cincinnati the last week, man. I am sweating like crazy right now. So, came in the garage. It was a little cooler, but that coolness has worn down real quick. I appreciate you guys watching. If you want, you can uh, check me out on Instagram and uh, Facebook. I leave them links in my description all the time. And you can check out my eBay uh, store if you want. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.